Hello, my beautiful bride. My name is Alicia, and I am your wedding planner. I've heard that you've been a little bit stressed. Your fiance told me you were stressed. Your mommy told me you were stressed. Your sister, all of your bridesmaids. So they all pulled together, and they gathered their resources, and they put them in a little pot and they use those resources to pay me to be your wedding planner. I'm not a cheap wedding planner. It did take all the resources that your family has to hire me, but I am the best in the business and I am going to make every single minute detail of your dreams come true. And if I don't make that detail of your dreams come true, that's because it's not meant to come true. That's because I know that it's not right. You have to trust my judgment, okay? You're in my house now. You're in my bridal salon now. And I'm gonna take care of you, okay? Sound good? I am a type A person. I like schedule, so we're gonna go over the schedule and then we're gonna go from there. So our first step is I'm gonna get to know you. I'm gonna get to know you as a woman, I'm gonna get to know you as a person, and most importantly, I'm gonna get to know you as a bride. I've been a bride myself in the past and now fortunately I don't have to worry about being a bride ever again because I am with my forever husband. And I might tell you a little bit about myself while I'm learning about you. And then I'm gonna learn about your vision and your budget. Ooh, I said it. I said that nasty B word, budget. But I had to say it because it's so, so important that we're on the same page in terms of numbers, in terms of financials. You don't know how many times I've planned the dream wedding at Windsor Castle sometimes at Venice Beach sometimes, at Balmoral Estate, which is in England from time to time, only to realize that my bride doesn't have the finances to fund my dream. I mean, to fund her dream. So in order for us both to avoid that devastation, we're gonna get really clear on that budget, all right? Then we're gonna get some inspiration wherever we can find it. And today we're gonna find it in some bridal magazines. Um, gosh, I'm just a sucker from print media. Any day of the week, just let me pour through some print media. Drew Barrymore has a lovely magazine out. And then once we've gotten some inspiration and we've really solidified some ideas, we're gonna talk timeline. We're gonna talk when we're going to accomplish the things that we're going to accomplish and in what order we will accomplish them. We're not going to build Rome today. This isn't the place where we build Rome, but we are going to set the foundations for a beautiful wedding. How does that sound? Okay, my beautiful bride. Now I'm gonna get to know you a little bit and I'm gonna write down some things with pen and paper or as is the case today with marker and paper. It just helps me process. I'm type A, I told you this. I'm gonna ask you some questions and some of them may seem a bit unconventional, but just trust me when I tell you that they have a purpose behind them for a really long time and before I was doing this I was doing this in my dreams I was dreaming about doing this <sighs> ever since I was a little girl no bigger than the size of a thimble than the size of a boiled peanut I've been dreaming about weddings I've been dreaming about my wedding which has passed already, has been completed, and now I'm with my forever husband. And ever since my wedding, my beautiful, beautiful dream wedding ended, I've reshifted my energies to focusing on the weddings of beautiful brides like yourself. Okay, the first question is, what type of Pokemon do you consider yourself? 
and what type of Pokemon do you consider your husband? A reminder for some of the types of Pokemon. Um, we've got ground Pokemon, we've got normal Pokemon, we've got grass, we've got fire, we've got water, we've got bug type, we've got poison type. Okay. No, I do love that, yes. And your future husband, your fiance. That's good. I do love that, okay. All right, my next question. <sighs> Tell me a little bit about how you guys met. Hmm. Okay, so here's the thing about that. This whole we met on the dating apps thing, as real as that is, as grounded in reality as that is, that doesn't play super, super well when it comes to the ceremony, the story, the speeches. So I'm wondering if we could tweak that a little. I'm wondering if we could insert some fun in that story. Maybe instead of meeting on Tinder, you met at a fish market and you were arguing over the most tender looking piece of fish on the market and, and your future husband was saying, Ugh, I need that piece of tuna. And you were saying, I need that piece of tuna. And then he looked you dead in the eyes and he said, should we split it? I do hope that you'll consider altering that narrative a little bit. Great. All right, my next question for you is a fill in the blank. Fill in the blank. The worst place to get married is blank. I have a few options for you. A, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. B, the courthouse. C, underwater in a shark tank. D, Florida. Or E, surrounded by my friends and family in a place of worship. Okay. Marked and noted. Okay, next question. What type of dog would you compare your fiance to? A, golden retriever. B, miniature schnauzer. C, full-sized schnauzer, D, Rottweiler, or E, my future husband doesn't remind me of a dog at all. Okay, I can work with that. Next question. Fill in the blank. My least favorite family member is blank. I have a few options for you, though you don't have to use one of the pre-provided options. A, my mother. B, my future mother-in-law. C, my father. D, one of my siblings. E, a distant aunt or cousin. F, a close aunt cousin or uncle, and G, a grandparent on either side. Okay, a write-in. I do love a write-in. Great. Next question, and this is also a fill in the blank. The person whose opinion is most important on my wedding day is blank. And our options are A, me, of course, being you, not me, you, you. Do you think your opinion is the most important about your wedding, yes or no? B, my future husband's. C, my mother's. D, my friend's. E, the Lord, or F. <laughs> okay, 
now we're going to answer some questions about your budget. I actually have a spreadsheet on my computer for this one, so I will be typing in your answers with my fingers rather than writing them down with a pen or a marker. Alright, the first question. I am looking to spend blank amount of money on flowers for this wedding. The first option is A, $5,000 or less. The next option is B, $5,000 to $15,000. C, $15,000 to $25,000. Um, D, $25,000 to $50,000. Or E, definitely over $50,000. Okay. So we're just not going to be able to get a lot of flowers then if we're keeping such a tight budget. Okay, and they're not a priority for you, so that's fine. Flower budget is nearly non-existent. Looking to spend less than 15000 on flowers. Okay. How much are you looking to spend on the dress? Again, I have some options for you that you could just throw out a number at any point if you want to stop me, but A, less than $10,000, B, $10,000 to $25,000, C, $25,000 to $50,000, D, $50,000 to $100,000, or E, definitely over a hundred thousand dollars you are looking to sp okay let me just clarify you're looking to spend under ten thousand dollars on the dress okay how much under ten thousand dollars are we looking to spend on the dress okay No, it's not a problem at all. Um, it is certainly something that we could work with. Um, there are definitely dresses out there for less than $5,000. Those exist. I don't work too closely with those dresses, but I'm willing to step out of my comfort zone and get to know some of those dresses intimately. in terms of venue, how much are we looking to spend? Okay, so if we're not willing to spend over $50,000 on the venue, Versailles is out, right? I just need you to know that Versailles is out, the, the um, Biltmore is out in Asheville, North Carolina, even the Biltmore is out. Okay, you don't care about Versailles? You don't care about the Biltmore? Okay then that's fine. We can definitely find you a venue for under 50000 Might need to do a Wednesday wedding. Not a huge deal. We can figure that out. No, 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 no. We're not panicking. This is fine. We're going to work within your budget. I always work within a bride's budget. I've been spoiled lately. Not that you aren't a treasure and a pleasure, and not that you weren't spoiling me. Just, um, you know, one of my most recent clients was Margaret Qualley. Do you know who Margaret Qualley is? She was on the show Made. She got married. Big wedding. I forget who her husband was. But Taylor Swift attended the wedding. So I kind of got to design a wedding that Taylor Swift attended, which was huge. How much are we looking to spend on food? Hmm. No, it's not impossible. 
we can always do Campbell's chicken noodle soup. Just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. I can figure it out. We can do something luxury in that budget, definitely. Okay, let's look in a magazine, get some inspiration. It's Taylor, Taylor Swift. This isn't her at a wedding. This is just her <sighs> looking fabulous for no reason. Even the ads are just stunning. Look at this couple out on a cliff. Can you imagine? I'd be scared. I'd be so scared. Sandals. Hubby's rocking the bod. You know, I love to see the reversal here. We've got a buttoned up bride and hubby's rocking the bod. Now this is one thing I'm not gonna let you do, okay? I'm, I'm sorry if you want it, but I don't want it for you. We're not doing the crop top wedding dress. We are not, okay? Our wedding dress is not going to be separate. And if it is separate, it's not gonna be a crop top. Now here are some venue choices. We've got the Lee's Priori in Essex, Gosfield Hall, Homewood Hall in Cambridgeshire, Clearwell Castle in Gloucestershire, St. Audrey's Park in Somerset, Borton Hall in Warwickshire, now these are a little more expensive than the budget that you have laid out, but you know, maybe if we do a Wednesday morning wedding, we could make it work. Not your dream, not your vision, that's okay. Okay. Two lovely ladies. potentially getting married to each other. Now, if I was having a wedding where I was getting married to a woman, I would not want us to be wearing the same wedding dress. But that is kind of a risk you take when you marry a woman, because if you stick to the tradition of we're not gonna see each other's wedding dresses before the wedding, there's a chance you could end up with the same wedding dress. Some couples, the chances of that happening are like one in a million because they have such different styles. But I have worked with couples where even on the day of the wedding, I cannot tell the difference between the two of them. There are some couples. <sighs> have you heard of siblings or dating? I've experienced that in real life. I've, I've thought that I was talking to the bride and her sister and it turns out I was talking to the bride and the other bride. Regardless. Okay, here's our first page, and this is just gonna get an idea of what you're looking for in terms of the dress, okay? All right, let me just flip this over. Okay, we've got her. This is the sparkle dress. You can apparently get this online at esesneighbor.com. Now this has a lot going on. This has a big pompadour on the chest. This has some beading purling on the skirt. This has got kind of a little bit of everything. This has got a huge cape. This is what we call a high detail dress in terms of there's so many details. Not your style? Oh, thank God. <laughs> I'm glad it's not your style because it's certainly not my style. I hate that dress. Okay, down here, we've got the vibrato. You see her? This is the mermaid style with a big fluffy skirt. I love this one. Yeah, 
you know, this is something that we could accomplish in nearly any budget. It's a simple silhouette. It's a simple silhouette. Okay. Now, if you're looking for something a little shorter, this can be really fun for more of a party style wedding, more of a Vegas style wedding, more of a Palm Springs. Yeah, I like to go for something a bit more formal too myself because it's your wedding day, right? It's not homecoming, it's not prom, it's your wedding. is something blue sometimes brides like to go for a different color for their wedding dress as a way to stand out as a way to do something a little different if you're interested in that we can go through some of our more colorful options this is more of a cinderella blue a muted blue Kind of an eggshell, but only the egg of a hummingbird. Yeah, none of these are really floating my boat either. Okay, so a lot of different styles and cuts on this page. So if we're going for a more modest look, and this is the type of look, now this is kind of a cross between modest and not modest. Um, we've got a really high neckline, uh, but then we've also got kind of a high slit. I kind of wish that slit wasn't there because I know a lot of my modest brides would love this dress if it didn't have that massive slit up the thigh. Are you a modest bride? Okay, so that gives us more room to work around. So this is kind of the opposite of the... This is also... Well, I said it was the opposite, but it's similar, right? It's a floor-length gown, it's a really high neckline, it's a corset, it's a little bit see-through, right? It would have been perfect for a modest bride, but it's, in fact, see-through. Okay. Now, this dress I call the seashell booby dress. Um, this is the perfect dress if you want all eyes to be on the girls on the big day. And a lot of people do want that. I have a lot of brides that they want everyone staring at their cleavage on their wedding day. And that's okay, because as a bride, you are so allowed to want that. Okay. It could be prudent to consider what that future hubby is going to wear because if the future hubby is going to wear something like this, something that screams British aristocracy, then we have to have the dress to match. Um, we can't be schlubbing it in the dress that you get off the Shein rack if hubby's going to be wearing the same thing you would wear to Meghan Markle's wedding, Meghan Markle princess of Canada. Now she's the princess of Canada, I guess, right? Because she lives in Canada. I love Meghan Markle. Nobody's going to tell me that's not my princess. Yeah, that's my princess. Okay. This is a fun look. This has got a giant big old bow on this blazer. Now, it's not just lesbians and gay men that can wear suits to their wedding. Um, brides, even if it's a bride that's marrying a man, can wear a suit to a wedding if that's what she so pleases. Because it's 2023, darling. We're not held back by these things anymore. Okay, yeah, that could be so fun. This one, I mean, this is the shininess of the fabric. I'm just going to say it is giving a little bit party city. 
I said it. I feel better. Now this is an idea. If we want to play with color, why just play with one color when we could play with all the colors? I kind of love this. Just like having a very multicolor, very confetti barf explosion look on the dress. But we're not ruling it out. See, once I feel like if you see it on you, you'll be like, that's it. Like if you see one like this one right here. This on you. No, you're right. Now that I look at it. Yeah. It is kind of more country. A little homely. Sorry. Sometimes I get swept away in my own ideas. Okay, I marked this page. Wedding sneakers. How do you feel about wedding sneakers? Good. I marked this page to tell you how much I hate these. I specifically hate these ones with the hearts. What are we doing here? Is it Valentine's Day at the middle school dance? Or are we getting married on our wedding day? Whew. Sorry, my blood pressure went up a bit looking at those. Now here's here's where I don't want us to waste money. You see these little macaroons? These gorgeous little floral buttercup yellow macaroons? Yes, they look adorable, but they don't taste good, and they cost a fortune. Seriously, if you want these macaroons at your wedding, okay. You might have to sacri sacrifice on chairs and have the guests bring their own chairs because if you buy these little yellow macaroons for the wedding, that's $32 a macaroon. Mm. See, this is a couple of brides. This bride gets two dresses, this bride only gets one look. I wonder how they made those choices. Okay, yeah. Now, sure, you could wear yellow, you could wear green, you could wear pink on your wedding day. Let's just hope all of your groom's family has met you because on the big day, like if you're wearing a pale shade of blue or a white with some colorful accents, they'll know you're the bride. If you're wearing one of these colors, no one's gonna know you're the bride, except for the fact that you walked down the aisle and you got, that you got married. Other than that little detail, anyone could be the bride. Okay, beautiful bride. Let's go through one more little magazine. Just do some flipping. Let me get a better idea of what you're looking for. And then we'll work out a timeline of when we're going to accomplish everything by. And then I'll go home and you'll go home. Tonight I'm going to have pasta salad for dinner. California wedding day. California is a trendsetter when it comes to weddings and really anything in the United States. California kind of sets the trend. Okay, I'm sorry to this man, 
but this is the smile that a first grader gives in their yearbook photo. How did he become a model? How did he become a model? That's neither here nor there. But when you have an analytical eye like I do, you see things like that. You can't help but see things like that. You notice them. some color into the wedding? What if we did some colorful details on the cake? Okay, I'm hearing you. I hear you in your own words that you're interested in doing cupcakes. I'd also love for you to hear me. Um, the year is not 2014. Uh, the year is 2023 and cupcakes are no longer the queen bee reigning supreme of the dessert industry. They're a bit passe, they're a bit dated, they date an event quite severely. If you have a cupcake tower at an event, looking back on those photographs you're going to say, oh, so this event happened in the 2000s the 2010s, the 2020s. I'm not gonna have you make a decision today. In fact, I refuse it if you do want to make a decision. How do you feel about this? Do you find this inspirational? Motivational? Horse wedding? Thank God, I'm so glad that you don't want a horse wedding. No offense to horses, I love horses. They're gorgeous, mystical, magical creatures. It's just, gosh, are they a burden on a wedding day. Um, they have no sense of, I shouldn't poop here, I should poop there. Um, I did have a horse wedding once. It was more of a unicorn wedding. We put a horn on the horse's head. It was the actual horn of a narwhal. Um, we didn't hunt the narwhal down. The, the horn had been passed down from generation to generation. Originally that narwhal was slaughtered by the great, great, great grandmother of the bride. Anyways, we put the narwhal huh, horn on the horse. But of course the horse pooped right on the bride's dress. What a shame, what a shame. So I'm glad that that's not what you want. Oh my God. Do you like this? Right, it looks like she's got a flower sticking out of her butt crack. Some of these people, they needed me and they just don't have me. And in some ways, that's tragic. Oh, how gorgeous. Do you love this? You love this? I love the simplicity. The flowers in a row. See how flowy, pretty and blush. This is a hard fabric to pull off. She can pull it off, of course. I think most models get their belly buttons removed in order to have a smooth silhouette.
kind of love this. Like I was saying, Palm Springs Wedding, they have a Palm Springs Wedding section in this magazine. Very bright, very colorful. Three brides. Look at that, three brides. I've seen two brides at once. But I've never seen three brides getting married to each other all at the same time. Okay, so like I talked about, let's finalize that timeline. So you're looking to get married in about three years, correct? Okay. So with that three-year timeline, I'm going to want you to start looking at dresses, trying some dresses on within the next two to three weeks. And then... I'm going to want you to choose a dress and have that dress on order within the next three to four months. In terms of the venue, we don't need to finalize that until six to eight months from now. In terms of the photographer, we're going to want to have that locked down a year before the wedding, so that gives us two years to look for a photographer, and it will take two years to find us a photographer with the way the landscape is currently. Okay, and then in terms of a DJ, band, etc., you're going to want to figure out what you're looking at in terms of that in the next two years as well. Now, of course, I can do all of this for you, and I will do all of this for you. I'll be sending you pictures of dresses and locations, dress store locations that you can try those dresses on at. I will be sending you pictures of venues and sending you out to go look at those venues. I'll be looking at those venues myself. I will be sending you the portfolios of photographers that I recommend. I will be sending you the set lists of DJs that I recommend. Now, in terms of the details, it's important that we start on those as soon as possible. Personally, I would like to figure out exactly what we want to do for the save the date in no less than a year's time because in terms of save the dates for me those are the most important physical paper that gets produced in the wedding process because if that save the date doesn't go out on time well there you go people didn't have the opportunity to save the date Okay, bridesmaids dresses, we don't need to look at those until two years out from the wedding. Cake slash cupcake, if that is what we decide to do, we don't need to order those until a year out from the wedding. So right now what I want you to focus on is looking at different styles of dresses, seeing what you might like, just kind of exploring your likes, your interests, your wants, your needs. I also want you to start considering seriously what do we want this wedding to look like. I am of course going to put it together for you, but you've been kind of all over the place in terms of your aesthetic and what you want the wedding to look like. So. In terms of that, I need you to kind of funnel all the information that you have, all the information that you've gotten today, and make some choices on what we're looking at aesthetics-wise, okay? Okay, listen, you're one of the most beautiful brides that I've literally ever seen. You're stunning. I, I can't get over it. I won't get over it. 
this wedding is gonna be incredible. You've got me on your team. It's gonna be so incredible. You're gonna cry forever when you think about this wedding in such a happy way. Okay, we've got a plan. We're gonna stick to it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You've got this.